we want to create a level playing field for people who are buying their first home with investors who are subsidised by taxpayer-funded subsidies. Now, the issue of housing prices isn't just about negative gearing. OK, let's be clear. Uh, land supply plays a factor. Whether or not you have a job plays a factor. Uh, the presence of overseas buyers plays a factor. So You're saying capital gains tax plays a factor as well? Well, negative gearing and capital gains tax discount uh, concessions do play a factor too. So we're looking at one of the strands of reform. Currently, um, this nation, if you look at the negative gearing, is um, where you get a, a subsidy you know, for the cost of uh, your interest payments, and you can offset that against, you can, you can offset that against other income. Um, now, if you have enough money to take advantage of this perfectly legal practice, that's fine. The problem is that I don't believe as a nation we should be subsidising that form of activity over other choices, reducing government debt, uh, the other measures which I think build a, a stronger economy and a stronger society. The beauty of what we're proposing is, one, it's not retrospective. So for anyone in this audience and anyone watching tonight, if you currently negatively gear, there is no change because we don't believe in making radical change and, and retrospective change in negative gearing and capital gains tax discount. But two, you'll still be able to do it for new housing. And three, it will no longer be available after the 1st of July 2017 for existing housing. And what that means is that when you're bidding for a house, Mr Turnbull loves to say there'll be less bidders. There might be a couple of less bidders, but the point about it is there'll still be competition for housing prices. It's not going to ruin the housing market. What it'll do is uh, reduce the heat in an overheated housing market. Okay, 